Well guys, you know, being a car lover, we bought some more goods. I know I say I'm always running out of room, but when you're like me and you just love the hobby and collecting some awesome castings, I can't help myself. Welcome back to the channel guys. Hopefully you all had a great weekend. I was busy Saturday, Sunday, actually mainly Saturday and yesterday putting Ruby back together. She is up and running, running super healthy. And of course I did detail her to the fullest and her exhaust is tweaked just a little bit. So she sounds so good with the off-road X-pipe setup. <laughs> Other than that, guys, we did score some goodies over the past week uh, from Target and Walmart. So it's kind of a mixture. I don't remember which ones in which bag. I just kind of threw stuff together. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out what we picked up. So I think this is all from Walmart. We got Noah Graxon's Wendy's car. Check that out. The number 62. This thing is so cool, man. Such a cool livery. It is a Camaro, of course. I do have a Camaro collection. Out of Wave 8 from 2022, I think this livery looks really, really good. Now, this is the regular version of the Chase piece. Um, so, if you guys are looking for it, it's probably going to be a metallic red and a metallic white. So, a little bit of a Spectra Flame finish. This is just the regular one, not the Liquid Chase, but still a beauty. This thing is really, really cool, man. When you start looking at the liveries of these race cars, it's kind of hard to not pick them up. And then, of course, we got some Ross Chastain action going on. The GoPro number one. Really do like this one. So it was between this one and I believe it was... Oh, man. Can't remember. The other GoPro, which was in white. My daughter helped pick which one I needed to get. It was either this GoPro or the other one. And she chose this one. I think she chose well because of the black and blue setup on this. But Ross Chastain's number one. And then here we go, guys. We finally, finally found it. The Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7 in white. Look at this beauty, man. This thing is awesome. Love the deco on this. Just the Carrera. And of course, you do have some nice headlight and tail lights. So, of course, the front ambers and the taillights are attached to the glass, which I love when they do that because it eliminates the need for tampos. Thing is awesome. You got the black retro five slots on there with the chrome ring out of the retro racers. New for 2023, so we're going to see a lot of recolors for this Porsche. This is out of F case. God, man. So stoked I found that one finally. And then, of course, we got this one. Check it out. The card is completely messed up, but I don't care. It's going to be opened anyways. A 73 Honda Civic Custom. This beautiful lime green. Check it out. Nice taillight details. You got the Honda and R badging on the back with the Advan three-spoke wheels. Of course, the black hood and the really, really cool taped-up headlight for the race look. That thing is awesome. And you do have some blue lower fog lights, which is a really cool setup. So a little different than the card art, but I definitely do dig it. It's another new for 2023 casting. And then the last one we picked up was the gold Liberty Walk. Super silhouette Nissan Silvia S15. Now this one's actually super clean. They had the reverse one prior to this in black and gold, but I'm definitely digging the gold and black. I think it looks a little bit more, a little bit more subtle. Um, than the previous, but you got the gray MC5s all the way around and of course that wicked wide body kit on air. So another casting with headlight and taillights that are attached to the glass. So definitely a new recolor for the collection. And I believe this was from Target. Oh, never mind. This one too. So I had this one before. I want to say it is in this tote or maybe that tote but I could not find it. And I know I used to have like two or three of these. And I don't know if it was one of the ones I donated to the children's hospital, but I picked it up just in case. So we've had this before. It's the 1967 Fastback, but they dropped them again at Walmart. So definitely wanted to pick it up. And of course for 367 or 397, 
you can't beat that. And then of course we picked up another Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport. Um, I actually picked this up for Cannon Bridges because he had commented on my video of the loose one I picked up and wanted to trade for it. I said I would give it to him, but I'd rather give him a new one that is in the package in case he wants to display it. So Cannon, this one's for you. I will set this off to the side. And of course, I hope you guys can see this. We did score two of the premium two packs right here. We have the snake and mongoose. Check that out, guys. So sweet. Now, when I first seen this set on the box, I wasn't sure if I was gonna pick it up. I do have the Ford GT Race two pack, um, and I had seen this on pegs, and I was like, dude, this thing is actually pretty sweet. So of course, snake and mongoose are legendary. The 72 Plymouth Cuda FC, and then of course you have the Plymouth Duster FC right here in red. Now, I don't know which one my favorite is, I'd probably have to go with the snake. Definitely do like that body style. But of course the duster is also a beauty. Two pretty sweet Mopars right here for the two pack. And the one I was really wanting after the Ford GT race is this beauty right here. Come on, get off. Here we go guys. Finally found this one as well. The McLaren Senna and the 720S. Now, not too crazy over the 720. It's super clean, beautiful color and wheels, of course. But the Black Senna, man, that thing is sweet. Look at that, man. Love the red stripes all over this car. It just really, really looks good. And of course, black and red is always a menacing look on any casting um, and definitely dig it. Check it out, man. Even the card art really captures how sweet that freaking car is but there we go i do have the full set i didn't want to collect the full set but when you see some castings in person it's just very very hard to not pick them up so i know i always say i'm gonna focus on mustangs which i have been i've been trying to pick up a lot more mustang stuff um, and trade for more mustangs but you gotta <laughs> you gotta pick it up if you like it man all right, and then of course, here we go, a new set of recolors for the collection. We have the beautiful blue Pagani Wyra Roadster. Check that out, man. Gorgeous blue metallic with the gold 10 spokes. Definitely dig this setup, man. This thing looks really good. You got the gold interior, and of course, front and rear details. This thing is just super sweet. So I think I have about 10, or more variations of the Pagani with the Roadster as well as the hardtop. God, man, this thing is super clean. Then next up, we got the new recolor of the Corvette Grand Sport. Here we go in white. Definitely like this one a lot. Very clean. You got the number 39 and the gray five spokes. Of course, no front or rear tampos, but you do have the blue headlight covers, which it is on the card, but man, Definitely a cool casting. Like I always say, guys, I do like the Grand Sport. I love the hood on it. Very, very custom looking. And yeah, so got this one. And then we had a second Porsche Carrera RS 2.7 right here. So definitely had to grab a second one just in case there were any variations to it because a lot of Porsches do have some base variations to it. So no base variation to it but at least I have an option to wheel swap it, custom it, race it if I want to. So grab a second one of those. And the recolor of the 2018 Continental GT3. Look at that, man. I kind of wish they changed up the livery on this one. They've been using this one pretty much for every casting release. Um, it's very similar to almost all of them. They just need to do something different, but it does look good in the silver with the green stripes. Of course, the black 10 spokes, but give us some headlight details, man. Even some tails. It would make this casting look so much better, but still a beauty. And then next up, we grabbed the long card of the 71 911. So I did pick this one up on a short card international, which is still over there. So I wanted the long card to go with it. Even though I am opening these, 
I still wanted both variations of it. All right, here we go. Finally found this beauty, man. The 72 Stingray Convertible in blue metallic. Now this one is super cool because it does have the translucent lens right here on the base, which allows the headlights to light up. I thought that is a super cool feature. Now on the back, it doesn't tell you that. It doesn't tell you that it has a special feature, which normally it does. Normally it'll tell you place a light here and it'll glow. So that little bitty circle you place over your phone light or whatever and those lights light up. I think that is super cool, but very interesting. It doesn't tell you that. Yeah, crazy. It does not tell you that anywhere on the card, but another new for 2023 casting right here and a new addition for the Corvette collection. And then next up, I did grab two of the Audi Quattro in this livery, man. This thing is sick. Definitely like this one a lot. The wheel choice, I have to say, is very fitting for this car. I think it's probably the best wheel choice for it. Even though I don't like the aero discs, I think it fits this car. Like These are the wheels that need to be on here. And of course, new for 2023, so we're going to still see a lot of new recolors for this, and I am excited. You got the single windshield wiper going down the center. You have the rally style window. Just thing is awesome. This thing is just too cool. So front details are on point. No taillight tampos, but still, I think this is probably one of the best new tools for this year. Super cool freaking Audi right there. So there we go guys that is what we picked up this week not a lot but of course some really cool recolors and new toolings for 2023 out of f case and the two packs right here from the car culture series i think these two really really came out well but of course the mclaren is still number two on the list when it comes after the ford gt set and then of course picking up some new nascar stuff you guys already know how i am with that if I like it, I'm going to pick it up, and those liveries look super cool. So, Canon, this one's for you. I didn't want to send you the loose one in case something happens to it. But like I said, I wanted to send you a new one. That way you can have the choice to keep it on card or have it loose. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below which one of these was your favorite release for this series. And, of course, the Car Culture 2 packs. But that is all we have. So, until next time, guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.